What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis. What will affect your money, the stock market, the next stimulus package, and a major bill gets passed here with some controversy and a couple other bills have a lot of controversy here as well. We'll be going over here in this video. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so, so you don't miss out on new videos. And here we go. First up, veterans groups are lashing out after a bill that had bipartisan support. All of a sudden, at the very last moment, was basically blocked by Republicans. Uh, that would have provided health care for veterans uh, that were exposed to toxic pits. And uh, you could see the uh, headline here. Veterans advocacy groups lashed out here yesterday after Senate Republicans blocked a much-anticipated bill aimed at expanding care for veterans who were exposed to toxins during military service. And, you know, I have, I have um, veterans in my family. My brother and my, my grandfather was in the service. Uh, he was at Pearl Harbor two days before Pearl Harbor hit. And um, so, you know, these kind of things really hit home for me. Sergeant First Class Heath Robinson honoring our PACT Act was the product of a year of negotiations between the House and Senate. And Wednesday's vote was largely expected to be a victory for veterans in need of care. But the majority of Republican senators voted against advancing the bill. Infuriating its Democratic sponsors, this was a bipartisan support for our veterans and the veterans who have been pushing for it and focusing on the ire of on Senator Pat Toomey, Republican from Pennsylvania. Here is what Senator Kirsten Gillibrand had to say in front of uh, some veterans who were who need this uh, health coverage. Three, with Senator Tester, this is total bullshit. This is the worst form of over politicization I've literally ever seen. This is total BS. We had the votes. We had strong bipartisan support for this bill. And at the 11th hour, Senator Toomey decides that he wants to rewrite the bill, change the rules, and tank it. How he convinced 25 of his colleagues to change their vote? I have no idea. I mean, what the hell? How does this happen? How do you change your mind right when you're about to make a law that's going to save lives? It makes no sense. It's an outrage, and there has to be accountability. So we have to go to these 25 offices. We have to make sure every one of these senators understands that they have just sentenced veterans to death because they will not have the health care that they have earned. They have put their politics before the life and well-being of service members who have given everything to this country. For what? For what? For some political stunt? For some BS? What is it? What did they do it for and why did they do it? It makes no sense. They put politics before the lives of our families, our loved ones, our service members, our veterans who have given every last measure. There's no excuse. It's total BS. Yeah, so fiery speech there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll have to see what comes of this, but uh, we've seen this a lot uh, in Congress, especially as the elections are getting close, where, um, and, and I'm not picking sides, but this is just kind of the political atmosphere right now. Um, Republicans right now are just kind of uh, largely voting no on almost everything um, as we're going towards the election. I, I don't, I don't know if this is... It just seems to be the political atmosphere of everything right now. And I think it's it's Democrats hold control of the House, the Senate, the presidency. So I, I just feel like they, you know, I even seen um, 
we we had a bill here to uh they ha- they proposed a bill to protect access to um birth control contraception and like 98% of the republicans voted no on it in the house on that it passed because the democrats can pass it in the house on their own and even on uh republican like reddits and and um which are forums even Republicans uh, across the internet couldn't even understand, you know, Republican people, not in Congress, but Republicans across the country couldn't even fathom why they were voting no on it. Why would, why would Republicans not want birth control to be legal? So the reason they're even voting on this is because Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas basically said after they overturned Roe v. Wade that they should then look at the ruling of birth control and contraceptives, okay? Well, those are legal right now, so if he wants to look at them, the only thing to do would be to overturn it and make them not legal because right now they're legal. So, and and Republicans and conservatives across the country can't even figure it out why Republicans would want to vote no on it. Literally, it's it's a complete head scratcher. And I mean, so that's the next thing. It's like if if they're banning abortion, all these states are banning abortion now. We we want to ban birth control next. It's really a head scratcher because imagine all the unwanted pregnancies that could happen in that bill. Also, just they put in there just to make sure they also included condoms to make sure that those were going to be protected and the bill (laughs) it's just i don't this is the political atmosphere we have right now democrats and republicans really are unbelievable right now so uh you can let me know your thoughts here now what's interesting is house democrats have proposed a ban on lawmakers trading stocks here this is really ironic because, you know, the, the story we just covered here and, you know, it's, it's big news here about Nancy Pelosi, right? And her husband, Paul Pelosi. Yeah, this is a big story going around here. Nancy Pelosi and her husband or, yeah, Nancy Pelosi's husband sells $4 million worth of NVIDIA stock at a major loss. So NVIDIA is a chip maker. It's a, a computer chip maker. It's a semiconductor maker. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Paul Pelosi lost $341,000 on his recent trade of NVIDIA stock. Yeah, now they're reportedly worth somewhere around $100 million. Mitch McConnell is also worth somewhere around $100 to $150 million. You know, so, you know, these these guys, you know, they're, they're worth a ridiculously amount of money. Now this is coming to the headline here, House Democrats propose ban on lawmakers trading stocks here. Interesting, right? Here's the details on this. House Democrats will propose legislation on early next month to ban lawmakers and their spouses and senior staff from trading stocks unless they put their assets in a qualified blind trust. Insider reported the legislation to be introduced in September would force a divestment of their investment portfolio if the lawmaker, their spouse, or a senior staff member chooses not to use such a trust. The bill would allow them to hold mutual funds, which is basically a large selection of hundreds or thousands of stocks, so you're not invested in a specific stock like NVIDIA, or Google, or Apple, or Tesla. So in this, you know, in a specific case like this, you wouldn't be able to buy a semiconductor chip company right before a, you know, $280 billion chip manufacturing deal was going to go through. Now, the weird thing about this deal is that they sold it for a loss of, you know, almost $350,000. So it's really weird because they sold the stock and then 
the stock went up dramatically right after they sold it. I had a lot of really uh, good comments or interesting comments on that video. A lot of people saying, well, Jimmy, um, they may have sold on the wrong day. They may have thought the bill wasn't going to pass. They may have sold it before it went off to because uh, a lot of people are, are privy to their investments and what they're going on. And they may have sold it at a loss on purpose so that they could throw people off the scent so they don't get in, in trouble for the uh, insider trading, uh, similar to like what Martha Stewart had in the past. Uh, and now they're proposing this bill. And Nancy Pelosi is now backing this bill. So in the past, she had said that she didn't back these bills because lawmakers should be allowed to trade stocks. They should have the right to do it. Well, now she's backing this. Pretty interesting, huh? And, you know, I've always said it's it's kind of weird how, you know, these even these lawmakers, you know, they have 175,000, 200,000, you know, some of the really high ranking members, you know, like Speaker of the House or something like that can get up to $300,000 salary. That's a lot, right? That's a lot. But it's not like you're worth $100 million a lot, right? Because even if you have a $300,000 salary and you're there for 10 years, that's $3 million. That's not $100 million. So how do you think these guys become worth $100 million? Yeah, you can think about that for a minute, right? Yeah, you can see here, right? Right from the Hill here. Remember, the Hill is not, they're not Democrat, not Republican. Um, they're just really just nonpartisan here. But you can see here, uh, her husband, Paul Pelosi, who just sold off his shares of NVIDIA ahead of the Senate vote on a bill to bolster U.S. production of semiconductor chips, has been accused of non-public information for stock purchases, which the Speaker has denied. So even the Hill here is saying that Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, has been accused of using non-public information for stock purchases, which Nancy Pelosi has denied. And the chips bill, the semiconductor computer chips manufacturing bill, um, that was about $280 billion, uh, a lot of money has now passed the House of Representatives as well. Uh, you could see here, I don't know if you could see this, but Republican leaders urged Congress to vote against the Chips and Science Act after Senate Democrats Chuck Schumer and Joe Manchin revealed that they had struck a deal on the sweeping reconciliation bill, also kind of being known as the Build Back Better 2.0. Uh, it's actually called the, I, I think it's called, they're, they're calling it the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 or something like that. Uh, but this did pass. Uh, it was a bipartisan bill. Only 24 Republicans ended up voting for it because of uh, what Chuck Schumer and uh, Joe Manchin, Joe Manchin kind of announced that maybe a little too early. Uh, here's what Democratic Representative Ro Khanna has to say about this. Check this out. I know it can be sometimes seem like nothing gets done in Washington. <laughs> I know it never crossed any of your minds, but the work of the government can be slow and frustrating and sometimes even infuriating. Then the hard work of hours and days and months from people who refuse to give up pays off. History is made. Lives are changed. With this legislation, we're facing up to some of our biggest problems, and we're taking a giant step forward as a nation. President Biden today touted a surprise deal that has put Democrats on the brink of a major legislative victory. And while it may not be as ambitious as some originally had hoped, the rather skillfully titled Inflation Reduction Act, or Build Back Better 2.0, would do a lot of good for the country. The bill would significantly reduce carbon emissions, invest billions in clean energy technologies, lower the cost of prescription drugs, and increase taxes on some of the richest corporations. It is the cherry on top of what has been an overall good week for the Democratic Party, the president, and the country. But it's also inspiring Republicans to reach a new level of petty. Almost immediately after the news of the deal dropped, House Republican leadership began urging members to vote against the CHIPS Plus bill. 
a pro-America, pro-jobs piece of legislation that would bolster the Democrat the domestic chip manufacturing industry and fund scientific research, despite the fact that 17 Republicans had just voted for it in the Senate. That bill passed the House earlier today with 187, 187 Republicans voting against it, against the chips bill, the jobs bill. It just goes to show you how they would literally do anything to stop President Biden from getting a win, a win, even if it means tanking something that could help the American people. Join me now. Congressman Ro Khan, a Democrat from California, Deputy Whip of the House Progressive Caucus. You know, and Congressman, it's like, wait a minute. You're against more jobs for Americans because Biden's for more jobs? Please explain this House vote. Joy, it's hypocrisy. I mean, this was the make it in America bill. This is about creating semiconductor manufacturing in places like Ohio. By the way, Governor Devine, a Republican, ran ads saying that he was <laughs> proud of Intel building these plants. This bill is going to allow Intel to do that across the country. And the Republicans vote against that. And then they complain that we're losing to China. This is the bill to help make sure we're winning. But, Joy, I'm so enthusiastic this week. This is why you come to Congress. You can see a new energy. I mean, what we are doing this week is historic. The investments in producing here, this president, Senator Schumer, Senator Manchin, reaching a historic agreement, the biggest investment in climate, tenfold what we've ever done, what any country has done. This is a moment for Democrats or anyone who's in public service, frankly, to be proud. I mean, this is government working. Let me ask you a question about that, because, you know, and first of all, number one, I mean, I think anything with Manchin on it, a lot of people just turn their head away and say that's that's not that cannot be real. But it appears to be real that Manchin is now in favor of this bill that would um, it would tax the super rich, uh, not anyone else. And as you said, would make a huge investment in climate in trying to save the planet. Honestly, how on earth did that deal happen? Have you talked to Manchin about this? Are you sure he's not going to pull the football away and will cinema pull the football away? Well, Joy, I have been contrarian. I've been for the past year reaching out to Senator Manchin, and I've reached out to him because I have a relationship. We had done a technology project in Beckley, West Virginia, and I always believed that Senator Manchin would support innovation investment in clean technology. He didn't like the sticks, but he was always for the carrots. And this bill, it's not just the billions it's going to invest in uh, tax credits. It's also going to unleash trillions of dollars of private sector investment in Silicon Valley. Instead of just putting the money in social media or cryptocurrency, now they're going to put that money into clean technology. It can be transformative. And I have always said that he was negotiating, and I am convinced that he is good for his, his word. Now, I don't want to jinx anything. Uh, I just hope Senator Cinema votes yes. Uh, all the other yeah. ducks are in a row. And click here to see $1,500 going out to some states here, millions of people. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.